Hello scholars, welcome to Amazing Science. Today it's going down. I hope that you are ready because today we are going to be demonstrating the movement of electrical energy. Yes, the really, really cool electrical energy, the one that we always see in the movies where somebody will be walking and they'll touch the cord and they'll start to vibrate because they're getting shocked. Yes, we're talking about electrical energy, but we're going to do it in a very, very, very safe way. First of all, how does electrical energy travel? Well, electrical energy is used everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And it normally travels in what we call a circuit. Now, a circuit is a complete path through which electricity flows. If you think of the word circuit, maybe circle, circle is closed it's a circular it starts at one point and it closes at another point in order for electricity to flow it's got to have a complete path that is not open but is closed and everything has circuits in it the remote that your tv uses to be able to turn on and turn off you're going to see that there's batteries that go off in here and there's going to be circuits within there and that's how the electricity is able to flow to even turn your remote on like literally circuits are everywhere but there's different components to circuits that we have to know about. And what's really cool is we get to use our knowledge of insulators and conductors to help us to understand how circuits work as well. Because if you can remember, a conductor is a material that allows electrical and thermal energy to flow through it easily. But insulators are the materials that it's very slow. It slows it down. It almost completely stops the flow of electrical and thermal energy. So when we take something like this wire and we look at it, it, it helps us to make more sense why the inside of the wire is metal. We can look at this one even for a better example. We look at that, the inside of the wire is metal, a conductor, but the outside is covered in plastic, an insulator. We see the same thing for this wire. The inside is metal, but the outside is plastic. That's an insulator. Why do we do that? Why do we? Why do we put one material on one side and another material on another side? Like, how does our science help keep us safe and yet put us in a position where we can use science to do amazing things? Well, we understand that conductors can allow the energy to flow, but we also understand that it's not really safe for us to touch conductors. Like, that's just normally not a good thing. When electrical and thermal energy are flowing through a conductor, it's probably not the best thing to put my hands on it. So what do we do? We say, let's use the conductors to flow, allow the flow of energy easily, but let's surround them with insulators so that we can manipulate it and move them and use them safely because we have to be safe. Like it's all about using your science, but on the other side of it, you've got to be here to use it. It does you no good if it takes you out afterwards, right? So that is how we use our knowledge of insulators and conductors to help us with our concept of circuits now how are we going to do this well today we're just going to look at a simple circuit and then we're going to get more and more and more and more advanced now all kinds of energies can flow through circuits we can have electrical energy we can have uh, i mean circuits use electrical energy to produce other kinds of energies is, is what i meant to say like electrical energy can be used to produce Light energy it can be used to produce sound energy. It can be used to produce mechanical energy. It can be used to produce thermal energy. Like this transfer of energy, this electrical energy can be converted into other forms of energy. And that all starts with a simple circuit. So we're going to move the camera down just a little bit. We're going to look at this circuit board. Right, 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 right. Now the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a source of energy. And what we're going to use for our source of energy is we're going to use a battery. So I can take my battery and I'm going to stick it in there. Now when you look at this circuit board, what do you notice about how it's made? Look at the materials and I want you to make some observations about the materials. Observations about the materials. Well, the first thing that I notice is I notice that there's a place for my battery over here, but there's metal on each side of the battery terminal. So there's metal here and there's metal there. Now remember, a battery is gonna have a positive and a negative side. And most times, if you look at the battery, like this has the plus sign right here, that tells me that's the positive side. Let's see if I can get that close enough where you can see it. And then over here would be the negative side. So a battery is gonna have a positive and a negative side. Now when I look at this circuit board, the first observation I make is I notice that a lot of it is plastic, and we remember that plastic is an insulator, but then there's certain places where there's these metal terminals 
that are there. Now why do you think we would have that? Once again, remembering our understanding of insulators and conductors, why do you think that they made the circuit board that way? How is that going to benefit us? How is that going to help us? That's a good question for you to think about and talk about with your teacher if you wanted to pause this and engage in some conversation before I give you the answer. There's my eyes. I see it. There's my eyes. I see you too. Okay, back up here. So, one of the really cool things about this circuit board is it is literally made to help us to keep the energy moving. We're going to get this energy and we're going to get it moving. So I know that I have a source of energy now. A battery is also a source of energy. It's a place where electrical energy, it uses chemical energy to make electrical energy. But anyway, it's a place where we can get energy flowing throughout this circuit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to understand that with a circuit, the conductors all have to be touching. So I have to take the metal part of my wire and I have to put it on the metal part of the circuit because the conductors, they all have to be touching. They all have to be connected. Then the next thing I'm going to say is what kind of energy am I trying to produce here, right? Because I have to determine what kind of energy I'm going to produce. Is Because if I just connect the terminal to the terminal, so if I stick it on this side and I stick it on this side, nothing visible happens. Like I cannot see anything. There's no... There's nothing to evidence that energy is being uh, produced or that energy is moving. And we need to be able to evidence that we're creating energy, that we're, that we're doing something here, right? Okay, so here we go. We are actually today, we're going to create light energy in this circuit. Now remember I said a circuit is a complete path through which energy flows. And energy flows from one end of the terminal to the other end of the terminal. So energy flows in a complete path around this terminal. Now the energy that we're actually going to create is we're going to take a uh, light and we're going to create light energy. You'll see these during the holiday season. These lights are over everybody's residence. So this is a really easy way to demonstrate this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one side of this terminal off, just like that. And I'm going to stick this on the metal part. So I'm going to stick the metal part of the wire, see that, on the metal part of the terminal. Okay. Now remember, with a circuit, when it's open, it's broken, but when it's closed, it flows. Right now, we're still open because there's a gap between this wire and this wire that is touching the terminal. See that space right there? That means that it is open, but when it's closed, it flows. So that means that if I take my circuit board and I close it, meaning I connect my wire to my wire, I make my conductors touch. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at my bulb. My bulb is now glowing. So now I have a glowing bulb because the energy is flowing in a complete path. We have starting in our battery, it's going to flow up the conductor, the wire on the inside, all the way through the metal. Inside this light bulb, there's a little piece of metal and it crosses across and it's going to come all the way down all the way down all the way down and when that electricity makes a complete path we see it light up now this happens really really fast it's 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 milliseconds it's really really fast but that is how it works now remember i said when it's open it's broken by broken we mean that the flow of electricity stops the flow of electricity stops so if i come over to my wire right here and i open it Look what happened to my light bulb. It went off. But if I just tap it again, if I can find it, it comes back on. So when it's closed, it's closed. When it's open, it's broken. When it's closed, it flows. See us lit up again? Right there. When it's open, it's broken. And that's really simple how circuits work. And this is a simple circuit, but we're going to continue making circuits. We're actually going to make circuits that produce light energy. We're going to make circuits that produce sound energy. And we're going to make circuits that produce mechanical energy. We'll do all three of those. And then at the end of this, I will give you the ultimate circuits challenge to see if you can use your knowledge of circuits to do something awesome and amazing. So get ready. Stay tuned. We're talking about circuits. You're going to be building them. Remember, a circuit is a complete path. Around which, around which uh, energy, electrical energy can flow, electrical current, it can flow, and that when it's open, it's broken, but when it's closed, it flows. When it's open, it's broken, 
but when it's closed, it flows. Keep it going. Amazing Science will be back on soon with more Amazing Science. Have a great day.